The scandal at the state capitol growing into a crisis tonight. Governor Bill Lee announcing a short time ago he will call a rare special session if the Speaker of the House does not resign. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Now this comes after a no confidence vote by Speaker Glenn Cassidy's fellow Republican lawmakers today that was followed by a slew of calls, including from the Tennessee Republican Party, that he stepped down. But so far, Cassidy holding firm. Yes, he is. Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams joins us live in the studio now to take us through what happened today. Rudy? Well, Katina and Richard, the no confidence closed door vote today in Nashville by 70 fellow Republicans was just one card to bring the deck tumbling down for the state's third highest ranking politician. However, it's unclear if the governor's call for a special session to deal with the Cassidy saga will avert a constitutional crisis. Speaker Cassida has been under scrutiny ever since three-year-old sexist and racist texts from his former chief of staff, Kate Cothran, were exposed. The speaker is also under fire for everything ranging from allegations of secret recordings to bribery. Speaker Cassida said he was confident his fellow Republican lawmakers would back him up today, but instead their vote of no confidence by a margin of two to one, 45 to 24. Within minutes of the meeting, there were flurries of statements, including one from the Lieutenant Governor McNally saying Cassida should step down. And the chairman of the Tennessee Republican Party, Scott Golden, said it is time for the speaker to heed the advice of the majority of his fellow legislators, step down from his position of leadership and allow someone else to begin the process of restoring the trust of all Tennesseans. Before their part, all four Republican House members representing Shelby County were seen leaving the meeting declining to comment. The ballot was secret, so we may never know how they voted. But Cassida has dug in saying, I'm disappointed in the results of today's caucus vote. However, I will work the next few months to regain the confidence of my colleagues so we can continue to build on the historic conservative accomplishments of this legislative session. Although Cassida has apologized for his role in the Lou text, House Majority Leader William Lambus still wants Cassida to resign. Sometimes sorry is not enough, depending upon what the behavior is. But I will tell you um, that he did give a very heartfelt apology. Well, so now the ball is in Cassidy's court. Either he heeds the calls from both sides to resign or deal with the outcome of that special session. In the studio tonight, I'm Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.